What's up guys, here we go. So now I'm going to show you guys and give you guys a demonstration of the EOS Converge system here. And so let's go ahead and just go run through the different products that are available for the, for the Converge system. So Converge is these three products right here. There's also a set of loudspeakers that work with the Amplify wireless receiver. Before I get too far ahead in that, let's just go ahead and go through this really quick. So first off, what's required is the transmitter here in order to work with these two different receivers. So this transmitter is what you would use to hook up to your, uh, your iMac, your computer, your PC, it doesn't matter, Mac or PC, or there's also an auxiliary in, uh, auxiliary in on the back to be used with uh, any MP3 player, iPhone, iPod, um, MP3 player, whatever it is. So you would use this to stream, transmit music from your player to one of these two receivers or this speaker as well. So let, let's go ahead and check out this one right here. So this is the digital wireless receiver. And so this is what you would use, and actually in the back of this, I'll, I'll show you guys some close of this in a second. In the back of this is two RCA left and rights. So you could use this to transmit audio from your iTunes library on your computer to this device right here, which could be plugged into your home theater system. So if you have an extra uh, in input on your theater system, you could put this, plug this into that, and you can stream music wirelessly to your living room where you have, if you have a really nice surround system in your living room, you can listen to audio. You, this is all you would need in order to do that. But if you don't have an audio system in your, in your living room, and you want, and you, maybe you just have a set of speakers that you want to use, you could use the powered amplified wireless receiver. So this is an ampl a powered receiver that you would plug it, you has RC, or plugs in the back for speakers, and you would use this for any regular speaker. So I'm going to be demonstrating this with the EOS loudspeaker system that they have, and that this is something that they sell on their website, but you can use it with any speakers you may have as well. I'll give you guys a demonstration of that in just a second. Or if you want to use the transmitter with the EOS wireless speakers, and this is just the regular wireless speakers. I've actually done a review of these already. I reviewed these with the uh, with the with the docking station right here that you can use with your iPod or iPhone. So this is basically a speaker slash receiver. Okay, this is a receiver built into this. So you would use the transmitter to transmit audio from your iMac, and you would use these speakers to and you know play the audio out of here. So that's all you need is these two devices, and you can hook up to four speakers, and you can plug this right directly into the wall. There's actually plugs on the back of this. Or you could pop out the plug and you can have it spaced out away from the plug. Like I said, guys, I already have a review of this, so I'm not going to show this to you today. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link so you guys can uh, watch that review in more detail, okay? So that is the EOS wireless speaker, okay? So let's go ahead and switch to the uh, other camera. I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of how you set up the transmitter on my iMac. And uh, then I'll show you how this works in conjunction with the amplified wireless, speaker, or wireless receiver and the, also the digital wireless receiver. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, guys, so here we are at the iMac computer. And we're going to go ahead and show you how we could, different scenarios we can use to set up the, uh, the transmitter here, okay? So the transmitter is the piece of equipment that sends the audio from the computer, from whatever device you're using, whether it's the iPhone, the iPod, MP3 player, iMac, to the receivers, okay? So on the back of the transmitter, we have three different, different plugs we have in the back here. Well, the first is auxiliary in, audio out, and USB. And the USB also acts as a DC, so it also powers the device as well. Now, the cool thing about the USB is not only do you use USB to power it if it's hooked up to your iMac, but you can also stream the audio or pull the audio from the computer through the USB. So if you use USB, you don't need any of the plugs at all, okay? The only thing you need to make sure is what you do is if you go to the system preferences right here, you go to your sound and the system preferences and go to Converge USB TX transmitter, and it'll send the audio out through here. So make sure in your, in your sound options you put output to the USB. As long as you do that, this is the only setup you need to have through USB to send the audio. But the cool thing about it is most of you guys, like myself, have com uh, speakers hooked up to your sound system as well. So if you want to have audio coming out, out of not only the wireless speakers or the amplified speakers, but also your computer speakers, well then, then you would use the, uh, the plug that we have here, and this is my speaker plug, and you would plug this into the uh, audio out right here. So let's see how this works. And so you can you would keep the setting here on USB. So you, you have two options: auxiliary or USB. Auxiliary is what you would use to use auxiliary in from an, from an MP3 player. USB is what we're going to be using with the computer here. Okay. So let's go ahead and play some Beauty in. So right now it's playing audio on my computer speakers with my subwoofer, my two my two one speakers here, and it's playing on the wireless speakers over here behind me. It's pretty cool. Or I could just, or I could just unplug the computer speakers, and you can still hear it in the background. I'm sure. Where's the volume? Just playing the audio in the background now. So that's really cool. Really nice feature that they have on there. Now the cool thing about the using this on a Macintosh is if you guys have an iPhone, 
most of you already know about this application that Apple came out with a long time ago. It's called Remote. And so Remote basically allows you to control your iTunes library as long as it's hooked up to Wi-Fi. Okay? So all you got to do is activate the, turn on the app. It's hooking up to my music library, which I've already set up. And now I can control my audio, my iTunes library, from my iPhone. So you're having a party, you're having a good get-together, you're far away from the computer. You don't have to worry about jumping over there to skip over to the next song or choosing a different uh, playlist or whatever. You can control the music directly from here. So let's plug this back in so you can hear it. And you can also control the volume. So a really awesome thing to keep in mind guys to use this app in conjunction with the Converge system if you do have an iPhone. Or if you have an iPod Touch as well, I believe that that does work with the iPod Touch, as long as it's on Wi-Fi. So there we have that. So let's go ahead and let me show you the, the speaker setups with the receivers and the, the wireless speaker and the loudspeakers, the amplified speakers. And we'll go to the other camera and, we'll, and give you guys a demo of how the sound quality is on those right now. Alright guys, so now I have uh, set up the transmitter on the iMac. So now I'm going to give you guys a show how the amplified receiver works here. So here's the amplified receiver. And on the back of this, we have, like I showed you guys before, we have our speaker connection cables, which are hooked up in the back right there. You guys can see that. And we have our DC in that goes in the plug right here. There's also an output here for a subwoofer if you also want to connect the subwoofer from the back. Okay? So that's the front there. And there's also an audio in. So if you don't want to have the, if you don't have the, if you don't have a transmitter and you just have this set up here and you do have your iPhone, your iPod, or uh, any other MP3 player, you can hook it up to the audio in, and I'll also send the audio to the speakers as well. Okay? But I have the transmitter hooked up to my iMac, so let's give it a demo and show you guys how this works. So first off, as you can see on the top here, we do have a pause, play, skip forward, skip back. So I can actually control the tracks on my iTunes library off of my iMac from this receiver right here. But like I was also talking to you guys about. We ha I do have the uh, the remote, the uh, the um, see right here the remote from Apple, the Apple remote, which also can control my iTunes library. So I have a little bit of beauty in here that I'm gonna be playing for you guys. So I'm gonna first demonstrate on here playing it with the with my remote. So if I grab, say we're having a party, having a get together, all I need to do is have my iPod, my iPhone in my pocket, and I can control all the music that's being played at all times. So let's go ahead and press play. So, I'll give you guys a little demo of the audio so you can hear a little bit of the music, okay? Okay, now as you guys have noticed, I do, there is a dial up here for volume. You can use this to control the volume right here, or you can allow it to control on the front of the, of the, uh, the app right here. So as you can see, I can lower it all the way down. Now when you are using this, you need to make sure that the audio on this is turned up pretty high, so that way you can adjust it because if this is really low, I can put this full blast, you won't be able to hear anything. So you have to kind of put this up. As you can see. I'm just going to pause that. So one thing I do notice, guys, when using these speakers, there is a bit of a hum, like a subtle hum you can hear when the audio is off. Not a huge deal, because I mean, after all, we're, you know, if we're not using it, I can turn it off, and the hum goes away. So it's not going to be like the, the indefinitely will be humming all the time. But when it is turned on, and there is no, uh, no, no, is no audio coming out of it, there is a bit of a hum you can hear right there. So let's go ahead and play the music again. Using the app, I can just skip the song. I'll start it over. Okay guys, so here we have the digital wireless receiver, and I'm going to give you guys a demonstration on how to set this up uh, with my home theater system here, but before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and open up the box and show you what comes with it, okay? Pop it open. So inside we have the instruction manual, you definitely will need that. We have our power plug, DC power, right there, okay? Also included is a pair of RCA cables for plugging directly into the home theater system. 
or you can use the Y cable and so this plugs into the back of the receiver and you can use this other piece here to plug a, plug your the receiver into a, a powered speaker so if, like say if you have computer speakers they already have power you can plug them into here to the, into the speakers on that and that would work as well wireless and this comes out right here and then we have the uh, receiver right here so there's the receiver very small very lightweight look on the back here so that's why we have the RCA's right there, the plug, the, red, the, the right and the left audio outs, our DC power, and the power switch. Okay? On top you can also control the audio with the play, pause, skip forward, and skip back, as long as you're using the transmitter with your computer. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this works on, uh, on the stereo system. Alright guys, so right now I have the uh, receiver hooked up to the back of the, the amplifier right here. See, I'm using my RCA's. I have it hooked up to in the back uh, on the photo on the phono uh, option opening I have on the back there. So as long as I make sure my uh, my uh, amp here is set to phono, the receiver I have here. So now that I'm hooked up here, I can use the iPhone amp hooked up with the computer to play audio, and it'll start to stream on my speakers here in my living room. I have a very good system, as you can tell. <laughs> But you can also use the app to skip through songs. If you want to skip through, so if you're having a party, you have this hooked up to your home theater system. The song comes on, not really feel like listening to it. Pull out your iPhone, pull, turn on the app, flip to the next song. Really cool. And so there's no, I don't, there's not really any kind of like a noise degradation or like any low quality as far as the audio goes. The audio sounds pretty decent. When the thing is turned off, though, you can hear a light buzz in the background if you leave it on. And like I said, you can also use the, the top of the receiver here to skip through songs and to also pause songs. So like that, or you can pause it like that. So that is the digital wireless receiver here with my home theater system. And like I said, you can also use this with powered speakers like computer speakers. You can plug this in the back using the Y connect cable, the Y cable with the RCA's on one end and the regular ear earphone jack connection on the other end, okay?